All right, Steve, this is a 360D, similar to the machine that you guys would be buying. Here's the packing head. My two techs are gonna show you removal and insertion of another packing head. Open the lane guides, there'll be two photo eyes. You'll unhook, two hand screws, loosen. And typically two operators will be needed to remove this because you'll have conveyor right here. But we have a transport cart and storage rack that you can actually wheel under the conveyor, fold it right up to it. It's got a hand crank so it raises and lowers. You push it up right to the end of the machine. the packing head just slides out. This enables one operator to do this job instead of two because of the weight of the packing head. Now these storage racks are a nice place to house all of your packing heads and your spacers for each individual size. These come in two, four, and six station racks. You can pair them up. So you just lower this to where the entrance is. And it slides right under the rack. All right, Larry, can we put that back in and connect it? So after you remove it, and set your head, you'll go to the other bay. Wheel it back over to your machine, raise it up to the elevation. Slide it back in. Secure the two hand knobs. Reconnect the photo eye. And that's it. In addition to that, you'll have color-coded spacers for all of your guides pertaining to the width of your bottle. As you can see here, these color-coded spacers pertain to each head. So you'll knock these loose, replace those. Same with your divider back here. You'll have divider spacers, as you can see in there, that are green as well. Uh, that makes the width of your uh, lane are able to clamp on the bottle of that size. You'll adjust your case guides down here with hand knobs. You'll set a case in here and adjust this to the necessary width and then you'll change a program on your PLC and you're good.